O oh Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me from the desire of being esteemed. Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being loved. Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being extolled. Deliver me, Jesus. The Litany of Humility is a prayer for any of the faithful to pray, uh, those that want to grow in the virtue of humility. Yeah. Being in Rome, I have the opportunity to, to visit the tomb of the man who composed this litany. And it's, it's a great honor, it's, it's, it's a very special opportunity to be able to visit uh, his tomb and pray there and pray for him and pray for all of the diocese. I didn't know who Cardinal Mary Del Val was, but after reading a little bit about his life and how he really grew up in a wealthy atmosphere, an affluent atmosphere, but that he lived his life in piety and that he lived his life in humility and that he was always ready to serve. Um, gave a new aspect to the Litany of Humility that this Litany of Humility wasn't just written by someone who went through a lot of hard things and received humility that way, but someone who actually chose humility in their state in life. And, and so walking up to and getting to pray at the tomb of this servant of God, this holy man, was, was beautiful to, to encounter someone who has used their gifts fully, but used their gifts fully as the Lord has called them to use their gifts. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Another thing that comes up for me when I pray this prayer is a feeling that I don't know how to do any of this. What I'm asking the Lord in this prayer, uh, I really sincerely need His help with. And, and there's a sense of desperation that I feel in that. And, and so I just want to communicate that, that sense to the Lord that, that I can't do any of this without, without his help, without your help, Lord. If you pray this prayer, you're asking for incredibly beautiful, powerful desires. So get ready for the Lord to move. So I encourage everyone, yes, pray this prayer, especially if you feel called to, especially if you're struggling to be rooted in the Lord and in the Father. And get ready for him to move too, and it will be beautiful. And you will be humbled, but that means you'll be more and more made into who you're meant to be with the Father, which is actually where freedom is. Mm -hmm.